What's up guys, Pyromaniac720 here and a half few round six from the February 22nd um, Nugget Bridge Live Tournament. Um, so my opponent here is Dragonfly. Um, I see him around a lot on Pokemon Showdown. Uh, I've talked to him a few times, I think. Um, I'm gonna get right into the match. Um, so I'm currently 4-1 in the tournament. Um, I know I only need to win two more, basically. If I win my next two, I'm pretty much guaranteed cut, because even if I lost at 5-1, at um, I'd have a really high resistance. So, um, I once again lead Shift Tree and Ninetales, because it's been working so well for me all day. And my opponent leads Rotom and Venusaur, which I'm pretty, I'm pretty fine with that, I think. Um, I just go for the Fake Out onto the Rotom, because I want to knock it off the field as soon as possible. Um, because Rotom... It doesn't cause my team problems, but it definitely causes my team more problems than the Venusaur does. Especially because I have Mega Mence in the back. Um, my opponent goes for the Sludge Bomb here. And kind of the theme for my day, not in the live, but on Battle Spot, is Shifty getting brought to Sash by Sludge Bomb and then getting poisoned. Um, I can't tell you how many times that's happened to me. I mean, it literally happened four or five times to me today. It was really annoying. Um, but I am able to get some nice damage off on both Pokemon with the Sun Boosted Heat Wave, which, like I said, has been really nice all day. As you saw, the Venusaur did move first there because I'm, I'm assuming it was a Chlorophyll Venusaur. Um, so it gets a Chlorophyll boost before it Mega Evolves. Um, so I sent out Salamence now. Um, I, I, there's really no way the Venusaur can stay in here. I think the Venusaur is too important in the matchup. Um, and of course, Salamence threatens it so well. Um, so I figured he's going to switch out or he's going to protect it. Um, and so I just go for the Heat Wave and the Rock Slide, figuring even if he doesn't protect or switch out, Venusaur really can't do much to me. And he does end up protecting, which works out fine for me. Um, so I'm just able to fire off a Rock Slide and a Heat Wave. Um, and whenever I see that, that animation, I think that it missed, and my heart drops. I mean, luckily Rotom isn't Citrus Berry, which makes this a lot easier. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have picked up the KO here. Um, but luckily, both 90% accurate moves hit, and Rotom goes down, and I take no damage for the turn. So, you know, once again, things are still looking pretty good. Um... And now Suicune comes in, though. Things are looking a little little scarier. Um, I actually ended up misclicking here. I accidentally clicked Protect, and I didn't realize it until after the turn. Um, I went to go back to do it, but I accidentally forgot that Ninetales selects first. Um, which is really annoying, but... Um, Venusaur goes for the Double Protect. Um, but I don't know, maybe the misclick actually helped me. I don't really know, because I was forced to switch out Salamence here, which ended up making this match a lot easier for me, I guess. Um, so I switch out Salamence into um, Scizor, and Scizor is actually going to, that slot's going to be double targeted because my opponent really wants Ments off the field with a Sludge Bomb, which of course doesn't affect Scizor, and a Skull, or sorry, an Ice Beam, which of course Scizor resists. So as long as I don't freeze, you know, I'm in excellent shape. And so I fire another Heat Wave, um, and of course my Heat Waves are ticking down at this point because I'm hitting Suicune, who of course um, its pressure is bringing down my, the PP of my Heat Wave. Um... So I'm going to be forced to switch pretty soon. Um, my opponent sends in Terrakion. Um, who ends up going for the Rock Slide. And Scissor avoids it, which is fine with me, because now I don't have to worry about being flinched. Um, and I was going to go for the Bullet Punch, but I thought that the Bullet Punch was kind of obvious, to be honest. Um, as my opponent goes for the Scald onto Scizor, which, thank God, doesn't burn me. So I'm able to fire off a Heat Wave of my own, which is going to do, you know... Like I said, it's it's good chip damage, which is all I want for the Pokemon in the back. Especially because now I have Mega Mance in the back. So as long as I can solid Tailwind, I win. And I do eat the Chesto Berry, so this tells me that the Suicune is probably a Resto Chesto set. Um, so I go for the Bullet Punch this time under the Terrakion. Whereas he didn't protect last turn, I was hoping he would again this turn, and he didn't. So I'm able to pick up the Oko on it. Um, so at this point, it's a 3v1, and all my opponent has left is Suicune. And of course, Suicune... Um, is now sleeping for two guaranteed turns because of rest and no chest of berry because I ate it. Um, so I fire off my last heat wave. This is the last one I can fire off because now um, now I'm out of them. So um, I do switch out nine tails because I want to get solar beam back because, like I said, I don't want to just be struggling. Might as well save the solar beams. And of course, I know Speaking can't wake up here, which is nice. Um, so I just bug bite once again. And I'm going to do, you know, a pretty good chunk of damage. Um, I was actually really impressed with how much damage Bug Bite was doing. Um, so I just double it sweeping here, which of course is going to pick up the KO. And even if it didn't, Bug Bite would have, and Suicune was still asleep that turn. So um, that was round six? I think that was round six. So I'm currently five and... Yes, that was round six. I'm currently five and one in the tournament, so stay tuned for round seven.